today we are seeing machine independent loader features. Uh, machine independent loader feature is all these features are completely independent with respect to the machine architecture. So, but the previous one actually depends with respect to the machine architecture. So each machine architecture will have its own features. So we discussed only one machine architecture's features, but whatever now we are learning here, it can be applied to any kind of a machine architecture. Wherever you want, whoever wants this feature can be uh, uh, incorporate into their, uh, uh, what I can say, uh, into their application. So, <clears throat> or into their loader features existing loader features. Uh, the first feature is automatic library search. The name itself tells you that it's nothing but automatic library search. Whenever you want it directly automatically, we can, if you enable it, this feature in any particular architecture mission. So the library search is done automatically. Then what it means automatically? Many, uh, we will tell the next topic tells you what are the different options you have apart from the automatic. So how this automatic library search will um, work. So many linker loaders can automatically incorporate routines from a sub program library into the program being loaded. So whenever you want, this will act as a sub program, sub program which directly whenever a loader wants it, it can directly automatically call this uh, routine. So in most of the cases, there is a standard system library that is used in this way. So most of the cases, uh, they use this way, automatic library search. Uh, other libraries may be specified by control statement. So if you incorporate this automatic library search, uh, if you want any other libraries to be used in your loader options, uh, you can actually add it. You have many other options to add any number of loader features into your existing loaders. So that also we will see in the next topic. <clears throat> we have many control statements. So we have many loader features. <clears throat> Uh, next point, the subroutines called by the program begin loaded are automatically fetched from the li library linked with the main program and then loaded. So what happens, the subroutines called by the program begin loaded uh, are automatically fetched from, it is automatically done. So once you incorporate this automatical, automatic library search, whenever a program wants the subroutine that can be automatically fetched <clears throat> and then it can be linked with the main program. And then after linking, it can be loaded. So the program can call it automatically, begin loaded, the subroutines called by the program, begin loaded automatically. If you want this library search program, will call it automatically, subroutines is fetched and it is uh, loaded and it is get linked uh, with the program and then it is loaded into the memory for the execution. So all this process will happen. So the program, So the programmer does not need to take any action beyond, beyond mentioning the subroutines. So program, we don't need any programmer to take the name of the subroutines. Okay, every time the program is executing, you don't have to say, I need an automatic library search for the execution. You don't have to externally, explicitly uh, mention that like automatic library research. If you incorporate in the loader options, automatically, whenever this library search is required, this library search will be called and link to the program automatically. The programmer should not worry about this of automatic library search. So obviously this automatic library search will act as a subroutine. So this is also called as an automatic, usually they call it as an automatic library call, uh, but the call will be a little confusion. So they, uh, we have too many calls, function calls, we have too many calls. So they just renamed, use this as an automatic library search in this textbook. So what actually this automatic library search will do, as we have seen in the previous algorithm, 
hope you remember we had uh, external reference and external definitions where pass one will read external see you can you see this that i have know? external definition and external reference the pass one completely takes care of this definition and reference at the time of loader loading it will store only these informations definition will have end a and its address here and this will have its address here at the time of loading when we get the starting address is also stored to the starting address it will add pass one will store all this information at the time of pass two exactly it loads and starts executing so wherever my list b is there or list a everywhere the ref external reference symbols will have their address stored in the est tab hope you remember est tab that we have used uh, in last class right okay i'm just using a mouse today so i can't type estab external symbol table so in those table all this defi defined record redefine and refer records are stored in the past two all those wherever is required was not defined in my program there it will replace with the object code so what happens automatic library search does the same thing but slightly different that they keep track of external symbols that are referred to but not defined only the referred symbols are stored in the es tab but not defined symbols so that is in the primary input to the loader the first time this enters symbols from each refer record into the symbol table that is es tab unless these table uh, symbols are already present so it will check it will only uh, store the refer but not the defined one so it checks whether the same symbols is already entered or not it will check and then only it will enter into the table es tab and then it will mark that these entries doesn't have a uh, uh, has been defined with any of the address so some kind of a flag set or any kind of a mark will be used saying that the entries is there but the sim the, the um, what i can say the address the target address or the address is not defined in the es tab so usually in my previous algorithm what was their es tab in pass one itself both our symbols and the address was stored but here automatic library search stores only the symbols so what happens so when the definition is encountered when the definition is encountered the address assigned to the symbol is filled it will only take so pass one and it will go through all the uh, uh lines every code and then wherever the definition is encountered it will store the address of the symbols which is already entered by the first part primary part that is nothing but only entering the referred symbols all referred symbols is entered but when the address is uh, stored when immediately after storing this referred symbols the loader goes goes through the all the statements searches for the symbols address and then stored in the es tab so when that is done that is actually the end of the pass one that's nothing but so at the end of the pass one what happens the symbols in the uh, es tab that remain undefined represents unresolved external references so what happens all the symbols and their respective addresses are actually stored at the end of the pass one if anything any symbols address is not found then it will mark it as an error as usual so it will identify the unresolved external references also it's a slightly change compared to the previous algorithm to the automatic library search and many times this they have given as a short notes to explain automatic library search okay in the papers question paper the loader searches the library specified for the routines that contain the definitions of these symbols so finally while at the time of uh, loading uh, in this library this is what in this the, the details stored in a automatic library search 
So finally, what kind of a details? The external reference, all the symbols and the respective addresses. So finally, at the time of loading, it searches back to the library for the symbols and their addresses. So that is the automatic library search. Is that clear? So this will automatically, once if you incorporate this automatic library search in the loader options, loader features, automatically the library search whenever is required, whenever you write reference and defer, the automatic library search will be called from the library and then executes all this ES tab will be generated. After ES tab is generated and then at the time of loading, the loader will take all those details and then load into the memory. Very simple. Fine, that's an automatic library search tool. Fine. 